Hello and welcome to today's video. I've got uh, some nice vehicles here to show you, some camper vans from Dreamer. And we're starting off with this one here, introduced for the 2023 season. First time shown here at uh, Dusseldorf, the D51 Addict on a Ford basis. And uh, I think it's outstanding. I think this is the best vehicle that Dreamer has ever done. And right, first thing, look at all this space. Now the Ford offers a great deal of headroom over the Fiat Ducato. Not only do it in the Ford, in any case, because they couldn't get any Fiat Ducatos, uh, because Fiat Ducatos also have pro problems manufacturing them. What we have here, you've got all this light that comes in thanks to the uh, window there and the window up there. Coming to the kitchen, look at this vast amount of space you've got for preparation. And in here, there's a fridge, and uh, you keep some cold stuff cold in there, unless of course it's roasting hot outside, uh, in which case the fridge mightn't work. But we'll never mind about that for the moment. This one will work because it's an electric fridge. Two-way fridge, three-way fridges when it's roasting hot have problems. I'm gonna do a video on that, but not on this one. Two burners here and a sink and storage, of course, all the way around. Uh, double bed here. And as you'd expect, the it is actually divided up. So you, so you can see they've got a division there, got a mattress division here. Why have you got that? Because when you, you can actually lift up the mattresses, put them to one side, and you've got access to the space below. Have a look at that later. Here we have the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, wardrobe. There's me in the mirror. And here we have the washroom. And all of this in a six meter vehicle got a sensible sliding door I think that is uh, pretty good in my opinion uh, this one's on an automatic basis and um, it does come in a, with a proper manual gearbox which is what I would prefer I also want to show you this because this is quite clever now note how the door bends around like this because others others don't so pull this here across got a this is the fly net, obviously. I've got the, this, is, this is Perspex, and that fits in nicely. In fact, I didn't fit in that nicely then, because I didn't do it very well. But that, <laughs> that will fit in there, and that is the um, end bit to your fly net. And I think, really, I can't stand it when somebody comes in my vehicle and leaves the fly net open. It winds me up. No end. Right, you'll want a price on that. So it's uh, 70,500. 284 centimeters in height. I would say that internally it's got in excess of two meters. I would say it appears that to me. So a six meter van, 206 in width. Uh, they've also got this other a D51. Uh, this is the uh, the one we've just seen is the Addict, and this one's called the Select. In this case, it comes in silver. This is very similar. The price is very similar. So it's 73,210. It depends on the options and all the rest of it. Technical stuff's all the same. Uh, the weight will be slightly different, but it's only, it's, o it, it's only, well, it's a matter of grams. I'm probably exaggerating, but it, yeah, would be, you know, there's a stack of payload and something like this. Uh, anyway, uh, so, uh, kitchen's not so big here, because the fridge has been moved over there. It's a bigger fridge, it's a much bigger fridge. Two burners here, sink there. I'll show you the fridge. And this one, Fitch V Frigo, so it's a two-way fridge. And we've got, you've got a bit at the bottom as well for uh, drinks and things. This comes out. Oh, I was supposed to come out anyway. And uh, let's, let's give that another go. And there you go. That comes out like that. Um, storage around. I don't like the corners being wasted though. That to me, that's another thing that winds me up. No end. And here is the bed. Note, in this case, the bed, the division between the mattresses is there. Why is that? Because that side's going to open up like that, whereas in the other vehicle, they open up like that. And I didn't show you that, even though I said I would. So maybe I have to go back and do it again. Uh, this is the washroom. Pretty good. Light, uh, uh, bright, uh, uh, thanks to the, the, the windows, indirect lighting, color scheme, all pretty good. Here's the rear of the other one, just to demonstrate. You can put these, uh, this will go up. There you go, see? Easy, I did it with one hand, with the mattresses on, and it probably wouldn't be normally 
filming at the same time as I'm lifting up mattresses. I'll show you in here. Sorry. There's the gas cupboard. One can is still going there. Of course, I would suggest, as always, that you get a refillable solution because that will save you back. There's the outdoor shower. I'll take you on the back of this one just to make the point how it works. This lifts up like that. So, and that, you look at all this space in the back here as well. I mean, somebody's put some mattresses in from probably from some other vehicle, but stacks of space. Uh, the one thing I would say, however, is that the gas cup is a little harder to reach in this one. But anyway, uh, I think they're both pretty neat now really really like the ford i've uh, been saying how great it is the peugeot which isn't as great uh being you can see even from here the difference in height so uh, i call the fiat sorry the, the peugeot the fiat ducato type uh, so the the peugeot the citroen the ducato very similar in build and the and, and everything uh much much shorter vans a much lower van, sorry. D43 Fun is a shorter van, uh, 541 centimeters in length and 70,000 euros in cost. This one here comes, part of that 70,000 euros is for this tent which goes in the roof up here. There's a look at what the tent looks like. I'm not fun of tents, but uh, because they are they're not insulated, but th this year at um, CMT we've seen two tents which are insulated down both down to at least minus 20 so at least that's what they claim i haven't tried them and so that really changes my opinion indeed i think this is a bit of a game changer as far as tents in roofs are concerned uh right storage here that's a wardrobe and uh fridge below vitri frigo drawers down here but 541 centimeters in length is it, mm, a bed a shower a kitchen it is pretty impressive i think so the, on the floor plate of of many cars i mean maybe or, or maybe maybe i'm exaggerating a bit 206 centimeters in width, width not many cars that wide but um but i think you get you get the point of uh, what i'm saying Right, so here we have the D55 Limited, also available on the Fiat chassis with uh, a automatic, or you can have an automatic this one as well, which is the, uh, uh, the, 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 the Peugeot. Here, I'll take you around the back of this one here. I don't like the washroom in this, so as I'm being all, all very um, enthusiastic about everything, um, I think I'll give it a miss. <laughs> The um, gas goes in there. This goes up like this goes up as well, like that. Uh, lots of space. Well, up the the Ford here. I'll show you the next one now as well. Um, you see here we've got this very unusual. This is the wash. This is part of the washroom. Well, actually, it's your wardrobe. The wardrobe's on the bed. Why is the wardrobe on the bed? It's because the wardrobe is part of the toilet. And I'll show you by coming here. Also available on the Fiat. And so there you go. Wardrobe's out there on the bed at the moment. And there is the shower. There's your clothes. We've well, got to pretend there isn't anything in it at the moment, but that's where your clothes would be. And this swings across like that and goes in there. And then this gate comes across as well. You un unlock it there and that goes across like that. So that's how all that works. Uh, anyway, what about the toilet? There's one here. Uh, and that's, that's your toilet. Uh, you can actually close this. Um, Right. I'm trying to close it. I can't, it will go over here. It's a bit of a fiddle. Uh, I've sort of done it now, haven't I? Uh, see, it, go, if it, if it's, it fits in there. I'm a bit frightened of it. If I push it, 
push it too, I'm gonna break it. Uh, don't, I think that looks ultra dodgy in my opinion. Um, you know, I like the I like the idea of using this in the shower. Um, okay, separate showers. I do appreciate some people want them. I think this is over optimistic in the way it's 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 laid out. I think that that would get broken quickly. That's my opinion. These have been on the market for a number of years. So if that is your experience, write in and say I haven't used it. I don't know. There's tower fridge here. Storage tent in the roof with a ladder, you can put the ladder away when you're uh, traveling. What's in here? I'm glad you asked. There's two, uh, two burners. Don't like this, I think that looks uh, awful. And the sink, and we've got, of course, some um, drawers below. We've got some lights as well, which I could have turned on, but I didn't even notice the w uh, they were necessary, thanks to the amount of light in the vehicle. And here we've got a shore power and 12 volts and a kitchen extension uh, right now there's two other vehicles called the cat coast and the cat long which are um camper vans and uh but i think for the purpose of this vehicle is because they're really camper cars so to speak yeah, yeah, ich bin Fernseh. <laughs> uh, um, I'm not going to uh, go show a uh, show. The lady here asked if this was for the television, and so it, that was the commercial break. So I'm not going to show the, the camping cars, but I am going to show you this one here, the family van designed for families. And this thing here is going to cost seventy-eight and a half thousand, six meter long camper van. How can you get a family a six meter comp long camper van? Well, we've got the table around here sorry it's in a bit of a mess at the moment uh, not much i can do about it and um, see somebody's been messing around with the blind the blind which is found in here there you go this is this thing here right that comes out like that only whoever had to play around with that one the other side didn't know how it worked here we've got the gas and if i come in here you can see how it's called a family let's put the lights on they were on, sorry, hang on, what's, there should be more lights than this, let's have our lock. There we go. Are they on now? Yes, they're on now, good. Uh, so we've got here uh, bunks at the back, but this is could also be used as a garage. So this could, potent, these bunks here could, could potentially come out and give you a reasonable sized garage. Here we've got the fridge. And here we've got more storage. And here we've got a very nice um, wardrobe. Here is the washroom with a sensible sliding door. Two burners and a oops, sink. Very good sized sink, but I don't like the plug hole. Um, I, I'm not so keen on things like this because I don't think the whole thing's things can fall off, but that's just my opinion. I, um, I'm not going to show you the bed, there's too many people around, and uh, I don't upset the staff uh, on, the, on the stand of my thing, I don't know how it works. And uh, so, therefore, I'm not, I don't, in, in, at events like this, I don't put beds down uh, when there's people around. Cause, I just don't want somebody else coming in and smashing the thing up, or me smashing the thing up for that matter, on, on camera. Uh, note it's got the, it's on the Fiat, uh, Fiat 8, because there are still some around on the Fiat 7. I think somebody has been messing around with this bed, to be quite honest, and I do notice, don't even know what it's from. But anyway, uh, these sort of things happen at events, and people, there's a lot of uh, fixing to do. Right, I'll show you what's in here because this is quite odd. It's not a bad idea though. There you go, two gas bottles. Very easy to put them in there. Uh, there is a top to this. I don't see where it is, but that that goes on there and it's a comfortable top. It matches the car seats inside. Let's go to the back. So, you, uh, it's got diesel heating and um, these could come out and make a huge amount of uh, storage space 
if that were what is required. Um, I don't think you get a bicycle in it, though. Okay then, so I hope you found that interesting. That was the, uh, that's the Dreamer range. Um, I'll, uh, uh, yeah, I'll just show you these two. There's a couple, we're not gonna get in that one, but we'll get in this one. Cap Coast, 54,370 euros. Okay, it's a car. It's a car with a tent in the roof. You can sleep in the back. You've got a kitchen over there. You've got a fridge there. And there's your bed. Don't rate this one at all. On, on the other hand, if there's one vehicle that I would really appreciate taking out for a couple of weeks, it's this Dreamer Select Ford Transit Custom. It's got the works inside, it's got a toilet, it's got a shower. Okay, it's all very small, you've got to be very, very careful. But anyway, see the video I did on that and also see how the bed is made. Because some people have said in the comments that it is very difficult to do. But anyway, uh, good. So there you have it. That is the Dreamer range at uh, 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 CMT Trade Fair and I uh, hope you found that interesting. Uh, I really do like the Ford Transit. Another vehicle incidentally I do like is the Pilot Atlas on uh, the Ford Transit, another company. I didn't like Dreamer. I thought Dreamer was an awful, awful a few years ago. And uh, there was a, but now I think it's really good. There was a, there was, I met a woman and she asked me what I thought of Dreamer and I said, do you want to be diplomatic or do you want me to tell you the truth? And then she rather foolishly asked me to tell her the truth. So I did, uh, but now I think it's really good. Uh, Pilot as well, so no, I didn't really think much of it. I didn't think much of it, it wasn't against it or something. But um, anyway, one thing I don't like, I don't like what I call that horse box toilet and bathroom. Uh, I just see it as too fiddly and it's going to break. And bear in mind, when you've got these things, they're moving all the time. And whilst they're moving, they shake, rattle and roll and things get broken. Thanks for watching.